I couldn't figure out why I had no energy, couldn't walk, you know, just couldn't move about. Four years ago, Susan Thomas was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, a condition that would cause the upper chambers of her heart to beat too quickly to effectively pump blood throughout her body. My husband and I talked to each other and decided that we would do all we possibly could to be able to function as well as possible. And so it's finally led to this. After multiple cardioversions, ablation procedures, and a mitral valve replacement, Thomas's heart continued beating out of rhythm. So two weeks ago, Susan Thomas was brought into a cath lab at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute for a first-of-its-kind procedure in Utah in the Intermountain West. She would pioneer a new, non-surgical, leadless cardiac pacemaker that is less than 10% the size of a conventional pacemaker. We know with the traditional pacemakers that the, the battery pack's up in the chest, and then the battery pack is connected to wires that are channeled through the veins into the heart. And those wires, because of the flexion and the twist on them, which can occur over 100,000 times a day, they ultimately break down, and they last about 20 years. The NanoStim leadless pacemaker is designed for placement directly into a patient's heart without the visible lump, scar, or insulated wires required in conventional pacemakers. So with this pacemaker, you can see it has two ends to it. One involves, a, one is a knob and the other is a screw. And so we put a, what we call a sheath, which is uh, largely a tube, into the big vein in the leg. Then this is advanced under x-ray, which we can see with x-ray, into the heart. And when it reaches the bottom chamber and is free of the valve, then we just screw it in place, making a few turns, and that little screw then holds it in place. When we finally decided I had the leadless pacemaker, um, I left the next day in rhythm, <laughs> and I felt stronger. I was able to walk out of the hospital by myself. I've, I've had more energy. We've been able to do a, do a few things in the evenings that normally we may not have done because it was just hard to pace myself to be able to do. I mean, we went to Flaming Gorge two days after. Um, for three days. We, um, last week we went to two plays went to the fair, those kinds of things. So life is improving.